Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM. We are assaulting, well, Cydonia really. Unfortunately, the Sectites outside are putting up quite a fight over here. The biggest problem really is the fact that we can't see much because of the darkness and they, obviously, can see very well. So, it's not nice. Right, um, I think I'm gonna leave my people as they are. Yeah, this is the problem. See, they, they can see us from miles away, and we can't see them if they're five meters in front of us, which is a little silly. Sid Black, let's go. Anything in here? Uh, not for the moment. What a strange place. Okay, so there's no one in here. But this is a pretty good place to shoot out of and to hold up. How the hell did you see him now? Oh, because he went this way. Uh, there's the bastard. Apparently he's only got a... Or is that a heavy plasma? No line of fire. How is that no line of fire? Stand up then. There we go. Oh, heavy plasma. So indeed, they do not have a line of fire through this. Interesting. Okay, let's get you guys over there. Here we go. Sid Black and CK Hawk. All very experienced soldiers over here. Alright. I think I want to clean out the map before we do anything. There's my tank over here. It can't really take a lot more shots. Which is unfortunate because it's a really nice scout. It can fly, it has a lot of time units and it's just good. Well, but I'll have to uh, push forward now. Yep, there's still some. Oh, ah, the hell. Captain K has been killed, you bastards, again. And they keep going in and out of doors as well, that's the problem. Ah, that must be... No, that's not the exit either. Where the hell is the exit? Is it really this last pyramid over here? Ugh, that would be extremely annoying. So... Where the hell did that come from? Did it come from... Oh, it came from one of these, didn't it? I think. Ugh. Bastards. You know what? No more games. No more games. Launch the missile. You want to be stupid? You'll be stupid. Alright. There's the there's a door there, but this should have an. You, you're kidding me, right? It didn't destroy the inside as well and kill him. <sighs> okay, one big fat guy. Let's go. Wait, actually, you know what? Go there. I want you in a safe place. With these guys. There we go. Balbany is gonna stay there. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where the hell is that coming from? It's right over there. And we don't see it yet. Let's go and find out if we can. Nope, still don't see anything. There it is. Ah! It's one of these bastards. Okay. Well, that's alright. Fernando. Let's have a 75% shot from inside the Avenger. Nice. I need just one more shot to hit. 25, yeah, that's not gonna hit. Eh. Cross the entire map. Uh, can anyone else take the shot? UFO Schnick? How much? 66. It's not too bad. I mean, there's a pretty good chance. And indeed, it is a hit. Boom! Nicely done. Excellent. It's interesting how these uh, craters actually block the explosion. Uh, Alright, um, let's go back inside. Devilkin. Ah, there's a bastard here. Woo. It's a good thing we take this guy out. Excellent. Heavy plasma with that one. Alright. Whoops. Let's keep going. There we go. Alright, these guys are gonna check out this area. And that... Yes, that is green. That is the exit pyramid. Okay, let's find out if our tank is gonna get destroyed now. 
Ooh, yep, there is a guy right there. Ooh, two of them, actually. Can I take a snapshot in one of these? I can. Uh, unfortunately, I can't take a snapshot at the other one because I don't have enough time units. But if we had someone really accurate, Boss McMoot. How much to take a trick shot? 79, and if I crouch, it's going to be even more. 39, let's crouch. Hopefully you have a shot from there. 90%. Uh, yeah! That was a brilliant shot, Boss McMoot. You've... I think you've done quite a few pretty crazy shots so far. That is pretty amazing. Alright, let's end the turn. There's probably still more. Uh, this was really quick, though. So it's a question whether there actually are any aliens left. There might be some inside here, although I'm not completely sure whether they ever are. Wait a second, I can't bring my tank in there? I'll have to make a hole. I shall have to make a hole because I want to bring my tank as well. I could try to just uh, use heavy plasmas, but I think I will just use a blaster bomb. So, battle bunny. Let us do so. Look this way so you don't kill yourself. Okay, and it's gonna fly all the way over there, and crap, now I can't actually see where the bloody entrance is. Uh, right, I think that's the entrance. Wait, up here, and then down here. Please make an entrance, please, please! Oh, I do believe that's an entrance now. I do believe that's an entrance. So hopefully there's no one back here. I'm just gonna double check. I don't want any nasty surprises. Right, good. Let's keep going. Excellent, that is an entrance. That is something we in the trade would call a bloody great hole of an entrance. Uh, right. See ya, Hawk. Let's keep going. What do we have here? Sid Black. Put your... Actually, it doesn't matter because you only have a blaster bomb. Why did I give Sid Black only a blaster bomb? That is a question. Hmm. He would certainly be uh, good with a heavy plasma. Now I have to get bloody everyone over there. It's a little annoying. Alright, keep going, guys. Keep going. Hopefully you're not gonna get shot at from somewhere. That would be pretty bad. Fernando. There's a new beginning waiting for you there. It's a miracle. Shrapnel sponge. <laughs> a bandoneer. Uh, who do we have next? Sam Frost. Let's keep going. Or let's go. Some of the people have been just chilling out in the uh, Avengers so far. UFO Schnick. Not enough time units. Fair enough. Scale Spirit. Yeah, a lot of these people haven't seen action, which is a bit unfortunate, but, uh, oh well. That's just how I roll. I take the enemy base with rookies. If you haven't checked out... Uh, yep, that's what I was afraid of. There is a guy right there. 19. Nice! It... From that side... It was it? Oh, that was it. It almost looked like he had a crossbow. The pyramid lift takes your battle-weary soldiers deep below the planet's surface. They arrive in the heart of a large complex of tunnels and chambers. The alien brain is hidden somewhere in the labyrinth. It must be destroyed if the Earth is to be saved from alien enslavement. Good luck. The final assault. Right, so once again... Good. Alright, so... This is the alien base again. Are you crouching still, Battle Bunny? You are. Unfortunately, your health was not replenished, so... Mm, it's not very nice. Let's see where the edge of the map is. There's one edge. And there's the other. But... This could be nasty. Just check this place a little. Yeah, this is gonna be nasty, nasty, nasty. Just a moment. Uh, Wait a second. Is this where the... hmm... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I think this could be the control room. 
but possibly not. Hmm. We shall find out. We have a lot of blaster bombs. Ah, our scout. Excellent. Right. Unfortunately, it didn't have its uh, health replenished. Obviously, that's logical, but still unfortunate. Okay, so this is not the uh, control room area. Let us go out of there, because we don't like sectopods. Abandon here. I don't think you can really shoot a blaster bomb. Not enough time. It's brilliant. Just br brilliant, yes. I, I'm not sure you can really shoot it through elevators. So, I'm not even gonna try. How's about that? Is anyone here? No. Good. Next. Legion KR. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you uh, check that area. All I need to do... Oh, one big fat guy. All I need to do is find the control room. So it's towards this side somewhere. Uh, not necessarily. Hmm. This certainly looks interesting. This is a very big area, but it's got an entrance here. Which I believe means that it's not the control room. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, we shall see. One big fat guy, not too far. I just want to see what's over here. Right, no one. Okay, so these corridors are empty for now. Ah, crap, you can't go there. Damn it. And now your back is facing that way. Which means if they want, they can kill you. With a shot to the back. So... Let's hope for the best. Sid Black. Yeah, we'll need those blaster bomb launchers. Now, the guys with the blaster bombs are just gonna chill out over here at the entrance, I think. Cow shake. It's, it's what happens when you have a cow and then you shake it. You get a cow shake. Um, right, this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried that that uh, sector pod is gonna take my tank out. But even if it does, well, the tank has served its purpose. It was really good. With that, yeah, this is definitely not the control room. Sorry, hover tank. Right, see you, Hawk. Where are you going? Check out this area just a little. All right, no one there, I think. Boss McMoot. Some very tricky shots you've done so far, and they were all pretty brilliant. Hmm. Let's stay there. Actually, no. I don't want to stay there. Because that gives the aliens a chance to shoot. And we don't want that. We want to be the first to shoot. That's how we roll. Fernando! You're all alone here, and... You know, this is something I really didn't understand. It didn't make sense. If you're taking an elevator that takes you deep underground, why is everyone suddenly in two different places? Hmm. It does not quite make sense. There. So did the elevator suddenly split into two? What happened? Oh, uh, right. There we go. Right. Everyone is positioned. Let's click the end. Turn button, which is going to be horrible. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of aliens around. A lot of them. Hidden movement. Ah, oh, there's... I think he's in sight now, on the other side. So we can take him out. Oh, another one. Yep, those, uh, those chrysalids are not nice. They sure do like opening their doors, don't they? Well, this is good. I mean, this is excellent. They're coming into view, but not attacking. Which means that now on our turn, we can take them all out. Our tank took a shot from the... Nice. Another one. Our tank took a shot uh, from the sector pod, but didn't actually go down. In fact, it didn't take any damage, apparently. There's that thing. Another one. Right, so first things first. Obviously, Legion KR take out... Ugh. 
Ugh. Try a lot of shots. Oh, nice. There we go. Whoa. Wow. That was three shots that would have hit, I think. Yeah, that thing. That horrible thing. Right, abandon you. We'll take care of that horrible, horrible abomination. Actually, wait. No, no, no. I should move my tank first. Otherwise, it's gonna get destroyed. Ugh, that thing. Anything over here? No. Anything here? That's certainly a very large room, though. Okay, well, the tank is gonna go bye-bye now, unfortunately. I'm just trying to find out whether... Yeah, there's certainly a, uh... Hmm. No, no, this is not the, uh, control room. Yeah, the tank is gonna go bye-bye now, because that, uh, chrysalid is gonna attack him with the claws. And it's not gonna be nice, unfortunately. Right, abandon here. Let's launch a rocket. Let's take it easy. There, and boom! Good night! Boom! Ah, the hell. Ridiculous thing. Now, let's see if we can take that thing out. UFO Schnick. 66, not great. Did we... I don't think we hit. Um... Fernando. 66 as well. Let's crouch for a better shot. Nice! Excellent work. Was there another... Chrysalid somewhere? Oh, this looks like a... Like it could be the control room. But I think it needs... Yeah! I think this might be the control room, actually. I do believe that is the control room. Hmm. Not necessarily, though. Right, these guys first. Scale spirit. Let's uh, take this abomination out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Die! 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 There we go, excellent. Most excellent. Now, CK Hawk. Let's take that thing out. Not very accurate because you have this bloody sigh thing, which does not really help you. That's better. Crouch, 54. Nice. Very nice, actually. Back into hiding you go. Okay, this is not going badly so far. Hello. They do like their chrysalids. 71. Very nice. Excellent. Didn't kill him, but very nice shot. Either way. Snowy Frog. Well, he's gonna finish him off with his snapshot and crouch. Good night. This is also a candidate for the, uh... Hmm. I think this might be the control room. Because I can't remember whether the control room has these smooth, um, walls on the outside or not. Hmm, I'm putting my money on this one, though. It's larger. And if I'm lucky with the... There's something there. Yeah, I think this is a control room. I'm just trying to find the silhouette of the... I think these are seats. Yeah. These are seats on both sides, and the brain is... Yeah, look at it. It's pulse. Yeah, look, look at it. That's the brain. That's meta gaming, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much the place where we need to shoot a um, lovely blaster bomb into. Stop it. Go here. All right. I have a feeling somebody is going to get taken out by a chrysalid. Just a nasty feeling like that. Uh, can't get through here, but we can go through there. So. Let's get going. Ooh, what happened? Ooh, a sectopod. But we have just the thing for that. Jezebel! Let's take him out. Take him out. Right, let's uh, guide the rocket. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Ha, 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 ha. nice. And you can't reload this turn, unfortunately. But that was pretty good. 
All right, the poor tank over there. Right, so we said that the, uh, yeah, this is definitely the control room. Let's send some people over there. Because pretty much the only thing that we need to do, as I said, with blaster bombs... Oh crap, I didn't want to move you there, that's too far. Is to open the doors for the blaster bomb to, uh, uh, fly through. That's it. That's all we have to do. And that is all we will do. Because we're cool like that. Snowy frog. There we go. I don't think I actually need to move anyone else. I just need these guys, so... It's probably a mistake, but we'll see. I wonder if that uh, chrysalid will actually attack my... Yeah, that was snowy frog, wasn't it? I like how they're still walking, but they're still going... Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, whoa, that... Yeah, there it goes. It's attacking, but apparently... The armor is too much for the claws of the chrysalid. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. It survived <laughs> with nine health. That was pretty amazing. Nicely done, tanky. Ow. Wow. I didn't know that. They actually implemented reaction fire for chrysalids now here. Uh, <laughs> he wasn't very amused. <laughs> Um, these, um, whoa, two blaster launchers. These uh, ethereals here will not be very amused either when they eat a blaster bomb. Ooh, you're a little close. How about we move and they not shoot? Excellent, they didn't shoot back. Alright, excellent. Now, Sid Black. Let them eat a blaster bomb. Bye bye. <laughs> oh crap! What the hell was? Whoa! What the hell was that in there? Probably some power cores or something. Wow. Actually, you know what? Go to the other side. Yeah, blaster bombs are so overpowered. You can have them fly anywhere. Well, not everywhere, but. Ugh. A lot of the places. Um, hmm. How much for an auto shot? 27. Yeah. Just... Oh, that doesn't react. Crap. You survived. Oh! Ah, crap. How the hell did, didn't we see that one? Ah, oh, crap. You're out of time units. Can somebody else take this guy out? See... That's so weird. Why can't we see the second guy in line? It's so bizarre. I mean, he's right there. 22, should I do that? 41. All right, no, no, come on. No, come on. Nice. He's not dead. He's just unconscious. Which, hmm, doesn't really bring me any confidence. Wow, Sid Black can fire a blaster bomb and reload in the same turn. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. See you, Hulk. Let's get you there as well. Alright, anyone else? I think that's it. Well, let's bring one more Tepic over here. <coughs> Alright, end the turn. Ethereal soldier has panicked. Ethereal leader has panicked. Ethereal commander has panicked. <laughs> you don't see that often. Well, we saw something, but it was too quick. Well, these things don't panic, so... Eh. But we're not... Uh, eh. You know what? Why not? Let's kill it. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> nice. Alright, Boss McMoot. Open the doors, please. And crouch. Nice. Nice. Excellent. This, um, this area over, over here is really nasty because they can hide behind a corner and just keep shooting at you, then hide them behind the corner again. So, I think what we could actually do, and it's quite amusing, let's do a snapshot. No, no line of fire. What we could actually do is fire off a blaster bomb right inside. Let me see if I can do that, that would be amusing. Sit black. Let's hope I don't take out my soldiers. Uh, what would be the... Ugh. 
No, you know what? Do, 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 do. Let's do it like this. Because I, I only have... Nine... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna save first, because... This is a stupid thing I, I'm doing here. But it's amusing. Alright. So, again... Let's do that. I only have nine waypoints available, so... I can't just waste them all. Four, five, six, and then up, seven. But then again, we'll probably, oh. And the pulsating thing is there. Nine, let's try that. This <laughs> As you enter the chamber, you see the alien brain, the object of your quest. Before you can fire it, it, it communicates to you via a screen at its base. It implores you to listen to its arguments for survival before you make the decision to pull the trigger. The brain speaks, many millions of years ago, the planet you call Mars was alive. This life was brought to a barren planet by our civilization as, a, as it was to yours. For millions of years we have visited your planet. Here is the center of Martian civilization, the pyramids built millions of years before yours, by a species which is your ancestor. No planet is beyond our reach, this power could be yours before long. All we ask is your cooperation. I don't know why the text takes so long now. It was too quick before. The alien brain is interrupted by a burst of hot plasma, and the entire alien force is defeated. Pew! Look at that. Pew! So, all this power... No! Once the aliens have lost Mars, they have lost the Earth. Before long, the XCOM research allows humanity to flourish once more, and claim Mars for itself. The alien menace is gone, but for how long? No one knows. Oh yes, we know. Terror from the deep. And terror is the right word. Well, that was Open XCOM. It was kind of interesting um, revisiting this old XCOM. It was nice with Open XCOM because there was so many nice improvements, quality of life improvements, really, and bug fixes, of course. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for all people that applied. Well, to all the people that applied. I'm sorry that if you haven't, haven't been picked, or if your soldier hasn't seen much uh, action, but yeah, that's well, just how it goes. I have plenty of games where I uh, have people apply for soldiers, so hey, you'll probably have luck one time. It's statistics, you know. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next Let's Play. Metal Canyon out.